Hello, it is Miss Dana here this week to do our Let's Go transportation story time. I am coming to you from my house, so I apologize if the lighting isn't really that great. I think I have a glare behind me, but we'll do the best that we can. It's just an icy day and the library isn't open yet on my day that I'm recording. So I just wanted to be sure that everything was working out okay. Looks like it is. Oops. Well, you didn't lose me. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Everything is different technology wise when you're coming in from another place. So I just want to make sure everything is all set and that you could hear me okay. But uh, again, we're doing a transportation story time today and we're going to read a book about trucks and we're going to do a craft with a, on, to make a train. And then we're also going to talk about cars too later on with another activity that I found for you to do along the lines of transportation. It's funny how many forms of transportation there are, even on your bags that we decorated, there was a truck on one of them and a taxi on another one. You see taxis mostly in the city there are some that are in South Hold, but you don't see them too often. Um, and then a bus, because you need to get to school on another type of vehicle. A school bus is fun. There's so many different kinds. We didn't even talk about how we were traveling on land with all of those things that I was talking about. But what about on water? You can travel by boat or ferry. A sailboat is a fun thing to go on when you're on the water to be type of vehicle. And what about when you're traveling by air? An airplane, you can go in a helicopter or like a really cool fast jet. There's so many ways to travel. There's so many places that you, we can go that require all different kinds of transportation. But I'm reading a book today called Trodo and the Trucks by Uri Shulevitz. And I really like this one because all of those trucks are so, so big and poor Trotto is so small. But even if you're small, you can do quite a bit when you're small. And you'll find out in this story what I'm talking about, what Trotto can do that the other trucks cannot do, even though they're so big. There's Trotto. Trotto was a happy little car. Smiling so big. He liked to go places. You see him, he's in the desert right there. One day after a very long drive, he came to a town called Cactusville. Look at that. They all kind of even look like cowboy hats are on there in the middle of the mountains. Very, very dry desert. That's where cactus grow. When the trucks saw Trodo, they burst out laughing. Ha ha ha. Hey guys, what's that little thing? asked Big Red. It's a bug on wheels, said Big Blue. Careful, don't step on it, said Big Yellow. They couldn't stop laughing. Oh, was that nice? Not really. They don't even know Trotto and they're making fun of how small he is. Trotto now didn't feel too happy anymore. He didn't like being laughed at. I'll show them what a little one can do, he thought. He had a plan. Hey, big guys, he said. Want to race me? Meet me at Cactus Canyon at high noon. 12 o'clock noon. He's pretty brave for being so small. The trucks were very excited. They couldn't wait to get started. When high noon came, the race began. 
vow at high noon, the sun is at its highest. That's why they call 12 o'clock 12 o'clock noon high noon because the sun is at its highest. So it's hot, hot, hot. So in that desert, it must be so hot. What do you think is going to win? The trucks took off. Oh boy, who's last? Can you see? They left Trotto in the dust. They are pretty fast because they are big. Let's see what happens. Here they go, they keep on going. Who's the one in the front? Looks like it's yellow, then blue, then red. Oh, then there's Trotto. There's lots of hills, right? Lots of hills and bumps. There they go. They're still racing. Looks like yellow is still doing a really good job. And there's Trotto still last, but he's not giving up. Oh, then Big Red got a flat tire. Look at all that. He ran over the cactus. The cactus are prickly. I can jump over those cactus because I'm little, thought Trotto. There you go. Oh boy, look at all those rocks. Big Blue almost flipped. Look at poor Big Blue's face. Wow, I can scoot around those rocks, thought Trotto, because he's so small. Oh no, the leader, Big Yellow, got stuck between two rocks. What can Trotto do because Trotto's so small? I can squeeze through thought Trotto. Look, he can go right through those four big wheels. Hey, uh, I might win this race. And he did. Good, smart Trotto. He's so brave and even though he's small, it worked in his favor, right? Oh boy, <laughs> look at the trucks' faces now. The trucks were so, were no longer laughing. See, they're so humbled. You may be little, but you sure are quite a car, they said. Congratulations. Oh, look at Trotto. Thanks, he said. Now they have respect for him. So he had a nice visit in Cactusville, but now he drove off into the sunset, casting a big shadow. His shadow is so big because he feels so big and proud of himself. That's great. The end. So even though you might feel like you're too little to do things sometimes, you should never give up. You should always try. I know I am very short myself, even though I am an adult. And I still find ways to do everything that everybody else can, right? Just because you're small doesn't mean you can't do what everybody else does who might be a little bit bigger than you. Just as long as it's safe. Always ask mom and dad. But now we're going to make our train craft. Hopefully you all had a chance to get your bag. I have directions in there and then a picture of what it will look like. So it's almost like it's a 3D type of train. There's recyclable pieces in your bag that will make the wheels of your train. So I gave you all a train to color. I'm getting mine ready right now. And I cut it out. After I colored it, I colored my train in blue. There's lots of different colors on there. The windows I made yellow. 
there's even like an orange light. I don't know if you can see it, but I colored the light in orange. Used lots of nice colors with my crayons. I had them out. Yeah, so you could use whatever you want. You could use markers, you could use crayons. I used the color sticks because I really like working with them. It turns out really nice. And then it was on a full sheet of paper, your train. So after you color it in, then you can cut it out. So it has the shape of the train. And then I also gave you toilet paper rolls. You can keep them the same length that they came in, in your bag, but I decided to cut mine shorter. So it looks more like the same size as like a, a tire wheel. So you can cut them and then have mom and dad help you with this because it could be a little challenging, but there's a little slit that I also cut in there to slide your train through. I don't know whether you can really see, but there's a whole, a long fancy word for it, to cut a hole in it like that long ways is a slit. That one you can see a little bit better. So if you make a slit right in like the center over there, let's see, you can do it on this one too. So see, it's like a kind of a long cut in the middle, I could slide my finger through. And then you can slide the train into those slits so it will stand up and look like it has, these are the wheels. So it's a little tricky because you have to kind of work it. And I know the cardstock isn't that thick, but mom and dad can help you with this too. So as long as you get those slits cut in, toilet paper roll, then it becomes the wheels on the train. And maybe one should be up a little further. So then it can sit on your hand and it looks like the wheels of the train. Pretty cool, right? I like it that it can stand up and you can play with it. And you can sing, I even wrote that down too, because I love the song, I've been working on the railroad. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Do you know that one? It's a good one. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. I won't sing the whole song, <laughs> but it's really fun. Good, so you can make that stand up on the table next to you while we talk about the other things that I put in your bag. Oh, you see my cat behind me? That's little Max. Max likes to make muffins on the back of the couch cushion and, and take a little nap in the sun in my sunny window. But this is the other two activities that I have inside your bag. One is a memory game. I'm sure you've played memory before. You have to try to find the matches. So I laminated the sheets for you. Hi, Max. <laughs> He's purring. He's very happy right now. But these will turn into cards after you cut them all out. And then they have a nice grid pattern on the back. You can't, the sun is making you see right through it, but. When you turn them over, you'll just see a blue grid pattern. Maybe that will make it better, a little bit. Try to put paper behind it. But then you have to try to find the match. And there's so many different vehicles that are here too that we didn't even mention, a blimp. So you have to find the matching because there's two blimps. There are two red trucks, two tractor trailer trucks with red backs. And there's even tractors. Oh, but look on the bottom, a submarine. That's a cool water way to travel to. There's lots of different forms of transportation. I love this one too. Cement truck, dump truck, fire truck. There's the helicopter and the planes and even rockets. You can travel into space. I forgot to talk about that form of vehicle too. There's so many places 
that we can visit by different vehicles. So many places to go. And then this one has, I love the bicycle too. We all drive that, right? And there's a crane and a boat and a double-decker bus and a school bus and a car. So you get to play memory and try to find all of the matches with your memory game that I laminated for you. And the other activity that I, I forgot to bring home one of those foam cars, but I put a foam car inside your bag also. So you need to use washable markers on it. I thought it'd be fun to play car wash. I know you probably have toy cars that you can put in soapy water and pretend to do, be a car wash, but this is really fun because you can actually see the dirt on the foam car if you use washable markers. You have to use washable markers because if you use permanent markers, permanent markers are permanent and it won't come off of your car. But you should, if you wanna play car wash, get two tubs, one soapy tub and one clear water tub. And then you can take your foam car and draw on it with washable markers, get it all dirty. And then if you have sponges and dip the sponges in the soapy water and then take your car and really rub off all of the marker, you can get the car clean and then rinse the soap off in the clean water bin. And then I think that you should make some more foam cars. If you have foam at home, you can get a whole line of a car wash going. I think it's pretty fun. I thought that was a fun water play idea that you could even do with your friends too. If you wanna trace that car that I gave you and make more foam cars, it'd be really fun. Well, that is my story time for today. It's my story time and I hope that you enjoyed all of the activity ideas on this snowy, icy day. And hopefully, maybe you can see my cats another time. Maybe I'll have to do story time from home, but say goodbye, Max. Say bye, take a nap in the window. <laughs> so we'll see you again next week. I'm trying to remember what the theme is for next week, but that's okay. I will be contacting all of you about it and then we'll have more fun, lots of different ideas. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye.